instantaneously. Now this is kind of a tough one because um, it's a little bit of a guessing game with how long that water needs uh, to get super cooled. So here we have six water bottles that have been sitting out in the cold for about an hour. To get super cooled water, you need to have pure water, not tap water, because there needs to be no particles in the water for those ice crystals to form on. So that actually allows the water to be frozen, but stay in a liquid state. So it's kind of a weird thing. It's really hard to do. We have six here. Hopefully at least one of them will work out for us. <gasps> oh, cool. So before I banged it on the table, it was completely liquid. Once I banged it, kind of disturbed those particles. You can see from the top down, those ice crystals started to form. And that's essentially what super cooled water is. It needs those particles for the ice crystals uh, to form. And now this is basically frozen. That's so cool.